those two great qualities that every good goal shares and you want to make sure that all your goals match this criteria or else uh, you're going to have uh, a long-term bad experience with the goals they're not going to be as productive or as good as they can be and it's really simple the two qualities the first one i call it massive uh, you want a goal that's uh, really 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 far away and big and the reason for that is because uh, just like bruce lee says goals are mostly aims they're not really things that you're meant to achieve they're things you're meant to aim for and the higher you aim uh, the the more the, I call it uh, the, the the faster vehicle you're going to use I like to use the analogy that if you aim uh, from here to the grocery store you're gonna walk but if you aim from here to Australia unless you live in Australia uh, then uh, in that case uh, think about Canada um, you're gonna use a plane and that's much faster simply because you aim so much further you have to use bigger vehicles that are faster uh, now this, the second reason that you want to use big goals is that the bigger the goal the more time it's going to take you to accomplish it and you're not going to slow down when you actually uh, get to it because it's so far away you're probably never going to get to it anyway uh, so so many times it happened in my life that I aimed for something for example I would aim to get uh, better fitness I would go to the gym like a maniac for a few months I would get it and I would stop or I would aim to make $15,000 a month I reached that goal and then I stopped making the effort stopped growing and I started being miserable <laughs> so you want to set goals that are so far away that they're just gonna keep you jacked up and you're gonna keep growing the growth is the love not the not the destination the destination is uh, you know it's just an, it's just a name I'm not saying it's not important to be always moving forward fast it is extremely important if you're not moving like <laughs> your life sucks but but the destination isn't the point where you suddenly get happy you love the way as long as you're moving forward fast now the second quality that you want your uh, goals to have is what I call evergreen I don't know uh, I know if you uh, do uh, you know like technology marketing stuff like that ever mean me evergreen means that it's like a technology or a strategy that you know always worked and always will work forever <laughs> uh, for example like it's it's an evergreen advice to be nice to people when you're nice to people uh, you get better results so there's never gonna be a time where it's like yeah you should always be you know a douchebag now that's the thing be a douchebag people are gonna be nicer to you so what I mean by evergreen uh, goals is that these are goals that they don't have an expiration date they're not based on in the head they're not like oh okay when I get this once I achieve that if I just had this uh, I want to have only that their goals were you know that it doesn't matter if I ask you now 10 years ago 20 years from now like hey do you want this goal you're always going to be like fuck yeah so for me it's like being a celebrity being famous it doesn't matter if I'm depressed or if I'm happy or when you ask me you're like Robbie do you want to be famous I'm like fuck yeah you know, it's a, of course you know I might not want to have people around me at that moment but but as a status yeah of course I want to be famous with lots of followers and fans um, but let's say money for example uh, you can be like, hey, Robbie, uh, do you want to make a uh, hundred million dollars or five hundred million dollars? I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for to make in the next like 20, 30 years. And then you're like, okay, uh, catch me like in a in a bad mood. And you can be like, hey, Robbie, now do you want it? I'm like, fuck no. I just I just want uh, nothing. <laughs> I just like what I have. Fuck it. I, I like being financially independent. I don't need more. So this is not an evergreen goal. That's why for me, the money thing, it's a byproduct of my evergreen goals because the more famous I am, the more successful I'll be, the more clients I'll have, the more money I'll make. So I focus on the evergreen stuff. So again, make sure your goals are massive, as far away as possible. And secondly, that they're evergreen so that um, you never have these doubts like, oh, is this working? Is this the right goal? Will I... Um, you know people have like these regrets like 
will I regret the time I spend doing this? Because you know you always would want this goal. So you can you feel more certain about jumping into it. It's like it's like you know who's easier to spend time with uh, a friend or a family member that you love. So of course a family member because you know you're always going to be stuck with that person. Uh, you know in a good way. I mean. And uh, so that's why it's like, yeah, of course it's a better investment of your time. Uh, you, you're always going to have that person around, probably, probably. Just you know, there's uh, many cases though. So if this makes sense, uh, let me know if you need help with that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I do coaching, so contact me if you need help with that. I'd love to help you.